Player at CV speaking to Champs City's new signing Liam Trotter. Welcome to the club, Liam. How did the move come about? Thank you. A um, little bit organically, it kind of, I was speaking to my agent about the possibility of um, going part time next year, this year. Um, and he happened to speak to, to Robbie, the manager. Robbie got in touch and we started talking and, you know, he started explaining the project and everything he has going on here and why he would like me to sign. So from that point, it kind of just grew and here we are. Yeah, and uh, we've got quite a few Ipswich fans in this area, Central North Essex, but for those who don't remember you from there, what, what type of player are you? Um, I'm a central midfielder. I'd say I'm quite commanding because commanding I'm a big lad, as people keep telling me. Um, I like to pass the ball. Ultimately, I think you know my best attributes are when the ball's at my feet. Uh, not too too good at tackling, but I, I do my best. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just an all-round central midfielder and I, I hope I can bring something to the club. Yeah, and Wikipedia says you're six foot four, so you're a big set piece threat. We're quite good at set pieces, Robbie. That's a big sort of area in, in non league football where you can get that extra advantage. Yeah, um, hopefully, I, like I said, hopefully I can contribute in, in many ways, and if set pieces is one of those ways, then, then great. Yeah, and you've had a great career, uh, been at Millwall, Bolton, Nottingham Forest, Wimbledon. So, what sort of uh, highlights have you had in your career? Oh, I've had many highlights. Um, I've been very fortunate with the, the teams I've played for, the clubs I've, I've been at. Um, even you know, just last week, I was fortunate enough to get to Wembley with Bromley, which was a, a massive highlight in my career. Uh, a promotion with Millwall, promotion with Scunthorpe. Uh, yeah, I've had many highlights. Obviously, getting to Wembley, I'd say, and, and, and promotions and winning the cup last week were probably up there with the top ones. Yeah, and you just mentioned then you, you dropped into non-league football Bromley and played... Uh at Wembley last week, promotion challenging to get into the Football League as well. How was, how was that uh, transition into non-league football? Yeah, I mean, it was still full-time, um, training every day, playing games at weekends, etc. So it wasn't too different. You know, the, I think the levels of the English pyramid, are every, every tier is just getting better and better each year. And, and you can see that now at the National League. For me, it's just, it's just the, f the fifth Football League, really. I, I think it won't be many years until that gets changed to that um, but yeah I enjoyed it had a great time there and you know I wish them all the best yeah and you just mentioned your last game there was winning the FA Trophy at Wembley how were you when the uh, we we're just talking about it. how were you in that disallowed goal for Wrexham late on <laughs> yeah it's one of those heart and mouth moments obviously uh, at the end of the game I think we had two lads go down with cramp so we were essentially down to nine men we'd made all our subs um, and they were just piling it on, putting the ball in a box, putting the ball in a box, and we were doing our best to clear. And then obviously that one goes in, and you think, oh no, we've now got extra time with two lads who are essentially finished. So <laughs> we're down tonight, so this is going to be a long one. But uh, bank I say thankfully, we held a good line, and he was offside. Yeah, and uh, you've captain Millwall and Wimbledon in your career, so that sort of leadership quality you can bring to sort of a young team we've got here. I hope so. Um, I say I'm more of a, a, a quiet leader. I tend to lead by example in, in, in the way I carry myself and you know my attitude towards the game and the, the things I do that usually I hope will, will rub off on younger players. But I'm also someone who will you know, pull someone to the side and, and tell them what I feel they need to know if I feel that it can help them. Um, yeah, I feel I am a leader. I hope I can come here and, and help some of the younger boys, a couple of them I actually know. So hopefully, you know, like I said, I can contribute. Yeah, and that, you, you said you knew, who do you know from, from previous? Uh, I know Cameron and uh, Louis um, from a, only a brief period, but I was training with Colchester 23s when I, I came back from America and I'd been injured and I needed somewhere to train and I knew the coaches at Colchester and you know they were kind enough to let me train with the 23s for a few weeks just for fitness. Uh, at the time, those boys were there. So you know I trained with them for a number of weeks and you know I, I kind of know what type of players they are and I look forward to seeing them again and seeing how they've progressed in these last couple of years and like I said if I can give them any advice or any help then I will. Yeah and uh, just how excited are you to be uh, joining Champs at this stage of your career? I'm really excited, um, it's, it's going to be a, a change for me, it's something different. Uh, like I said I spoke to the manager, he, had, he has plans, he, he, he wants the club to do well, you know I, I enjoy the, the fact probably which is still there at you know the Bromleys and, and the non-league which is the the community aspect and the fact that the fans and the club all feel as one um, I think ever since I was at Wimbledon I really appreciated that um, 
so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And like I said, I, I hope I can bring something to the team, something to the club and something to the city. Okay, thanks for your time today, Liam, and uh, excited to see you in action. Thank you very much, appreciate it.